नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल स्टडी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट पॉलिनॉमल रिग्रेशन विथ एस के लर्न सो लेट्स सी हाउ पॉलिनॉमल रिग्रेशन मॉडल इज ट्रेंड इन एस के लर्न पॉलिनॉमल रिग्रेशन इज अ टू स्टेप प्रोसेस वेर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी अप्लाई पॉलिनॉमल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑन द फ्यूचर मैट्रिक्स एंड द सेकेंड स्टेप वी लर्न लिनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल ऑन द ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्यूचर मैट्रिक्स The linear regression model can be learned by a normal equation or stochastic gradient descent procedure. Since this is a process where there are there is a pre-processing step involved along with estimator, we make use of pipeline construct for polynomial transformation followed by linear regression estimator. Let's look at how to implement polynomial regression model with normal equation. So here we have used a pipeline construct so we have instantiated an object of a pipeline class with two steps the first step we have polynomial transformation and the second step we have linear regression estimator so the first step is set by giving a name to the step followed by instantiating the object of polynomial features here we have set the degree to be 2 so we will get polynomial features of degree 2 from this particular step then we instantiate an object of linear regression estimator so this transformed feature set is fed into this estimator for for training as well as for evaluation we can train this particular model by calling the fit function on the pipeline object and we supply the feature matrix and a label vector as an arguments here if you are solving a multi output regression problem the y train will actually be a label matrix we can also use stochastic gradient descent for solving polynomial regression we can notice that there is there is a single line code change in the in the pipeline in the pipeline setup so we have instead of linear regression we have hd regressor where we instantiate object of a hdd regressor estimator there is another code change which is in the import section where we import hdd regressor instead of linear regression in this particular code snippet so this is how you can set up polynomial regression model with normal equation and stochastic gradient descent regressor so the polynomial feature transformation will get us polynomial features of all degrees sometimes you want to exclude higher degree polynomial features corresponding to the individual features and we want only the interaction features so the polynomial features class has a parameter interaction underscore only in its constructor which is by default set to false if we want only interaction features we should set this parameter to true so for an example if we have two features x1 and x2 by setting interaction only to true we will will get a transformation that contains features 1 x1 x2 x1 x2 so note note that x1 squared and x2 squared are excluded because we set interaction only to true so this is how you can you can perform polynomial regression in sk learn now the question is how do we really set this degree what is the appropriate value for the degree and as we discussed in machine learning techniques course this can be found with hyperparameter tuning and that is the topic of our next video